Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve practice problem 5.1 from Sadiku book. So the question is, if the same 741 of M in example 5.1, we, we need to find out example 5.1 is used in the circuit of figure 5.7. Calculate the closed loop gain V0 over Vs and then find I0 when Vs is equal to 1 volt. Okay. So let's see the example 51 told us. So the example 51 told us that a 741 op amp has an open loop voltage. Open loop voltage is this A here. This A here. This is the open loop voltage gain. So the A is 2 times 10 to the 5 and input resistance of 2 mega ohm the input resistance is here the ri and then the output resistance of 50 ohm so the output resistance is here so we replace the 741 with this equivalent circuit okay now let's write that given in the example 5.1 so the ri is 2 mega ohm the r0 is 50 ohm and the a is 2 multiplied by 10 to the 5 so it will be like this and now let's replace the 741 in the circuit with this replacement circuit with this equivalent circuit which our circuit becomes like this so this is our equivalent circuit in the dust box here. So we will have R1 here inside the 741. And then a dependent voltage source also inside the 741. And then R0 also inside the 741. And the input is connected to the voltage source here like this one. And then the other input is connected to this node here, which is also the same here. So we got this Vs here. And then the output is connected to this 20 kilo ohm resistor, like this one here. So this is the equivalent circuit when redrawn. And the value of the variables is given here. So Ri is 2 mega ohm and r0 is 50 ohm and a is 2 multiplied by 10 to the 5 however the circuit is hard to see and hard to analyze so i want to redraw it into a simpler form so i want to move this resistor horizontally here and i want also the r0 to be here and the uh, the voltage source dependent voltage source is here so we can see a circuit that rectangular and yeah easy to see so here is the simplified circuit so i move the r1 to be here so it is like this and then i move this branch here to the rightmost one so it is like this and this is the variables from the uh, op amp so ri r0 and a okay so now let's probably change the ri r0 and then a to the to this variable here and also we are given that vs is equal to one volt so our circuit becomes like this okay so we'll have one volt voltage source here the r input is two mega ohm or i write it two thousand kilo ohm here and then this resistor is r0 which is 50 ohm or 0 0.05 kilo ohm and this is a multiplied by vd and our a is two times 10 to the five so this is all and this is the circuit that we need to analyze so maybe we are asked to get a gain so gain will be v0 
over vs however we as we get the vs is one so i'll have v0 divided by one that will be v0 but we still don't know what is v0 yet okay and v0 is this one here but that is v0 from the ground so this not here i can name it the same as this one so this is v0 so we get this value so we get the v0 and then another notes maybe let's name this v1 okay now assuming the direction of the current as usual i want all to be goes to the bottom to the ground and this maybe goes to the right this also goes to the and this i want this to go to the right so i want it to be easier so i0 is just the minus of this one so remember that this one that we will use for kcl okay now let's see kcl at p1 first i want to do it at p1 because i don't want to deal with these big numbers so let's start by doing kcl at p1 kcl at v1 and kcl said that the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out okay this one here remember that this is one fold from the ground so this is one fold so this is one fold from the ground and this is the only current that goes in which is one minus v1 divided by 2000 okay the unit of the current is milliampere so i just leave the resistor in kilo and then that will equal to the current that goes out this current here is v1 minus zero which is v1 divided by the resistance between them which is five and then plus this current here that will be v1 minus v0 divided by 40 okay now let's multiply both sides by 2000 so we can cancel out all the denominator so we'll have 1 minus v1 and this will be 400 v1 and this will be 50 v1 50 v1 minus 50 v0 okay now let's rewrite this as minus 50 v0 plus 451 p1 and that will equal to one maybe let's save this as equation number one okay now things will get complicated in kcl at p0 so let's do that kcl at p0 and the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out okay this is the current that goes in so i will have v1 minus v0 v1 minus v0 divided by 40 and then that will equal to v0 divided by 20 and then plus this current here which is v0 minus and the sign here is minus so we, we will get plus plus 2 multiplied by 10 to the fifth of vd then divided by 0 0.05 okay but then vd we can we know that vd is 1 minus v1 so maybe just replace the vd by 1 minus v1 okay. 1 minus v1 that will equal to vd right okay now getting rid of the domain denominator okay maybe i want to multiply it by 40 okay multiplying it by 40 we get this one here will be 
P1 minus P0. And then that will equal to 2P0. And then plus 40 divided by 0 0.05 is 800. So this will be 800 P0. And then this will be, what is it, 1600. So I'll have 1600. 1600 multiplied by 10 to the 5th multiplied by 1 minus P1. Okay. Now maybe let's distribute this and multiply this. So I will have 1.6 multiplied by 10 to the 8. Okay, 1.6 multiplied to the 10 to the 8. And if we distribute this, we will get like this and minus. So minus this number. 1.6 multiplied by 10 to the 8 of P1. Okay. Now maybe let's move this to the left hand side, but 1.6 multiplied by 10 to the 8 is so large that this one will not matter. So I will have this moving to the left hand side, I will have minus 803 of V0 and then plus 1.6 multiplied by 10 to the 8 of P1 and then that will equal to 1.6 multiplied by 10 to the 8 and maybe let's save this as equation number 2 and we have this two equation with two variables which is I think it's impossible to solve by hand so now let's take out our calculator to calculate that Okay, this is our calculator and let's set it up as equation solver set up and then number five we need two variables so number one equation number one is just this one so minus 50 45 no not 45 451 and then one okay then we will have this one minus 803 and then very big number here 1.6 multiplied by 10 to the 8 okay and that also 1.6 multiplied by 10 to the 8 okay so I will have this as P0 which is 9.00041 okay so we'll have p0 is 9.00041 and then p1 is p1 p1 is the y value which is 1.0005 okay 1.00 0, 5. Okay, this, the unit will be fold. This is also fold. Okay, maybe let's save this equation and save this result and clean up the board. Okay, from our cal calculation so far, we got V0 and V1 is this value here. Uh, and so we can calculate the gain here which is the same as p0 so we'll have the gain here so closed loop gain p0 over ps we can get p0 over ps that will be 9.00041 and the unit here will be fold over fold or you can uh, write it without a unit right so this is the first result and the second result requires us to find I0. And I0 can be calculated using 
KCL here. So let's name this node here, this current here as I1 and I2. So I1 and I2. So I0 is just I1 plus I2. Why? Because the current that goes in, which is I0, is the same as the sum of the currents that goes out, which is I1 and I2. That is KCL, right? But then I1 is V0 divided by 20. And then I2 is V0 minus V1 divided by 40. Or this will be this will be 2 V0 over 40. So I will have 3 V0 minus V1 divided by 40. By making the denominator 40, right? And let's plug this in calculator because we know V0 and V1, right? Let's do exactly that. So... We need this one. Okay, 3 V0. 3 multiplied by 9.0041. And then minus V1. V1 is 1.00005. Then divided by 40. Okay, I will have 0 0.650. Okay. 0 0.6500 what is it 3 and milliampere or that will be 60 650.03 microampere maybe there is some rounding error i don't know but that is close enough to the answer given by the book but this one is spot on here so I don't think I don't I don't think I made any mistakes and I'm sure that this will be some rounding error in our calculation. Okay. And thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Very long video. Bye bye.